Hey y'all, it's me, Kevy. Trans Girl April is fast approaching, which means it's time for me to share my recommendations. Right, Ernie? You wanna come say hi, Ernie? I'll be recommending books that I both have and have not read because full disclosure, most of the trans books I've read are by trans women. The reason I designed the prompts this way was to ensure that I and the rest of you read a variety of trans experiences and not just all trans women. So with that, let's look at the prompts. Trans woman fiction. Nevada is a trans classic about a trans woman who spirals after breaking up with her girlfriend. Little Blue Encyclopedia is one of my favorite trans novels about this woman mourning the loss of her best friend by writing an encyclopedia of the show that they used to watch together. Fierce Femmes and Notorious Liars is about a trans girl who runs away from home and joins a trans gang in the city where they beat up their oppressors. Oh, it's so fun. Summer Fun was just announced to be a finalist for the Lambda Literary Awards in Transgender Fiction. It's about a fictionalized version of the Beach Boys where the lead singer was a trans woman. Trans woman nonfiction. This time for me is a memoir of one of my all-time favorite trans entertainers, Alexandra Billings. It went from being a homeless drag queen on the streets of Chicago to a celebrated actress on television and on Broadway. Redefining Realness is the book that sparked the transgender tipping point in 2014, coming out around the same time as Laverne Cox first appeared in Orange is the New Black. With this book's publicity, everyone finally knew of the existence of trans people, whether they accepted it or not. Trans Women Genre Fiction Light from Uncommon Stars is a book about three women, a demon, an alien, and a trans violin prodigy. On paper, it sounds like there's too much going on, but trust me, it all works and it's one of the most beautiful books I've read. Manhunt is a horrific novel about what happens to trans people during a gender-based apocalypse. The answer being an extreme rise in turfism and all the triggers you can think of. Painful read, but so good. By Way of Sorrow is the first book in a mystery series about a trans detective. I haven't read it yet, but it sounds really promising. Trans man fiction. Several people are typing is a weird, hilarious, and heartwarming book about a man who gets his consciousness trapped inside a messaging app. <laughs> trans man nonfiction. A trans man walks into a gay bar is about a trans guy's experiences maneuvering through the gay community after coming out. Trans man genre fiction. Coffee Boy is a really sweet short romance about a trans man interning at a political campaign office and falling for his boss. Peter Darling is a Peter Pan retelling where he returns to Neverland after being gone for 10 years. Cemetery Boys is about a trans man who can summon ghosts and help some to tie up loose ends. This is one I'll be listening to next month. I'm so excited. Future Feeling is about a dog walker who accidentally puts a curse on this social media influencer and has to jump between dimensions in order to save him. Non-binary fiction. Stone Butch Blues is a trans classic about exploring gender and sexuality in the pre-Stonewall era. And then you could use any book from a quick Amezi for this prompt, either Freshwater or The Death of Viva Goje. Non-binary nonfiction. Dear Sentheran is a Kweke Amazie's memoir. They're a much beloved author on booktube, and oh, this sounds real good. All the things they said we couldn't have is a celebration of trans joy, following the cycle of the seasons to shine a light on the wonders of the trans experience. Don't Call Us Dead is an outstanding poetry collection that I actually just made a video about. If you're into poetry, definitely keep this one in mind. Non-binary genre fiction. Sorrowland, or anything by River Solomon. Sorrowland is about a pregnant woman fleeing to the forest to raise her children without the influence of the outside world. Nothing But Blackened Teeth is a horror novel about a wedding party having their ceremony at a notoriously haunted house. Are you having trouble finding trans books for Trans Girl April? Well, you should check out shopqueer.co. It's an online bookstore dedicated to queer authors, and there's even an option to sort by sexuality or identity. You could easily browse the titles on there and find so many options to read. What's more, shopqueer.co works directly with queer authors, giving them greater royalties than they would receive from other retailers. Not sponsored, but it sure could be. <laughs> Also, another reminder to please not read exclusively white trans authors during this readathon. It's trans people of color who are on the front lines and in the most danger, so their voices are the most important. What are you planning to read for Trans Girl April? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if it pleases and sparkles, I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! <laughs>